I'm going to be making pumpkin rolls using Rhodes dinner rolls. I got my dinner rolls on the counter. We're going to let these thaw out and rise and then we're going to make them into pumpkin rolls. All right, so it exploded in my fridge, but that's okay because I'm going to use it. So you're going to let it rise completely till it's just over max. And now we're going to make the pumpkin rolls. So I showed you that I put these on the counter. I let them rise and then I stuck them in the fridge because I was hoping to make them yesterday, but I wasn't able to make them. So I just get these frozen. They have a bag of 36 or 72. I normally get the bigger ones or I'll get two smaller ones. And I just happen to, I, I make a lot of recipes with these. And it was by accident that I even realized I could do this. Um, we were having Thanksgiving and I had bought these dinner rolls, not realizing that you have to take them out of the package when they're frozen, put them on a tray, let them rise and then cook them. And so I had left them in the bag and I come in and they're like, and this one, it kind of exploded too. It just was like, poosh and exploded. Well, it didn't explode, but it came out the side. And I was like, what do I do with that? So I started rolling it out. I made pizza rolls, cinnamon rolls. I've made feto rolls that are amazing. So I thought, you know what? It's fall. I'm going to now make pumpkin rolls. So I have all my ingredients out. It's super easy. Um, just grab the roll, the Rhodes, the R-H-O-D-S, Rhodes dinner rolls, put them on the counter, let them thaw out. And I have pumpkin spice, brown sugar, sugar, flour, and I'm gonna melt some butter. Then I have pumpkin. I'm gonna put some of the pumpkin actually into the dough. We're gonna roll it out. We're gonna sprinkle everything on, plus more pumpkin. Put them in the oven. I'm gonna share with you my homemade cream cheese, amazing cream cheese um, topping. I got my bread out of the package. I'm gonna add a little bit of um, pumpkin puree to it. just like maybe a quarter of a cup, and I'm gonna work this into the dough. It is gonna get a little messy, and that's okay. So just work this in. Because I want that dough, I want the pumpkin flavor in the dough. Just work it in. Like I said, it's gonna be a little messy, that's okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna keep working this in, and then when I come back, we're gonna roll it out and then get it all going. Okay, so I mixed in the pumpkin. Yes, it's gonna be a little messy, that's okay. I floured my surface, and I'm just gonna kinda get all the moisture, because it is gonna be kinda moister. If you don't wanna do this, you don't have to, but I wanted to get the pumpkin. I want When the bread was going, I wanted it to kinda be meshed in, so I just laid some flour down. I have extra flour. Now we're just gonna roll it out. This is the rolling pin that my husband got me for uh, Christmas, he actually made it for me. So as you're rolling it out too, it's gonna put the pumpkin into the dough. So it does take a little bit, because this has already risen, it is gonna take a little bit to roll it out, so just be patient. Just have to really give her, just go one at a time here. Ooh, that looks cool actually. All right. And I like to actually stretch it too, just to kinda Help it roll out a little bit. Oh, that looks great. Okay. If you can kind of see the pumpkin inside of it. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this. It does take a little bit, but it's worth it, I swear. Okay, I got it rolled out. It doesn't look pretty, but it'll be fine. And so you might want to even too, because it is going to keep coming back at you. You could actually pull the edges out and stretch them a little bit if you want. Um, you're going to have to flour it pretty good. This did take me about five minutes. I mean, because it, you know, it just, that's how yeast is. It bounces back. So if you want to do that and then just, and you want it kind of long because you're going to roll it and then slice it. So you want it, you don't want it in a, you don't want to roll it out in a complete square. You want it to be more rectangular. All right. And if you don't want to add the pumpkin, you don't have to. I mean, I did and it kind of worked in. You know, you can see kind of the layers of pumpkin. I just wanted the bread, I want it to be extra pumpkin-y. And it will bake in, so you're not gonna have like chunks of stuff or, okay, that looks good. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to, um, 
do a layer of pumpkin on top of that. I just use pumpkin puree like you'd make for pies. And you're gonna brush that on really good. It doesn't have to be too thick because you're gonna roll it. It's gonna have layers. I melted my butter. I had one and a half sticks of butter that I melted. All right, so just spread it really nice. Okay. Try and go all the way to the edges. I love pumpkin. I'm like a pumpkin person, you guys. I'm one of those people that they make the videos about saying, oh, these people love pumpkin. I'm actually one of those people that uh, gets made fun of because when fall comes, it's like pumpkin everything. That is completely me, completely me. It's so hard to make fall stuff when it's 80 degrees outside, but I think I can get through it. All right, so we're just gonna keep doing this and we're gonna layer it with some sugar, pumpkin spices, uh, I did white sugar and brown sugar because I like it like really kind of, um, I like the like glaze, not glaze, like um, not syrup. I can't even think of the word, but I'm going to do both because I like that like thick kind of gooey insides when you cook it. All right. Yeah, my son David is homesick, so I put up a Christmas tree to cheer him up and I brought him some cocoa. When me and Haley went down to Ships Joanna, they had chai and white chocolate cocoa. And so I mixed it with chocolate syrup. And I, he's the first one to use the mini marshmallows that I got. Okay, so go right to the edges. So it looks like I used about a half a can. And this is the bag that's 36. If you do the 72, you either wanna divide it in half because this is pretty big. And then you probably wanna do you know a half, a half a can on one. And like I said, you don't have to add the pumpkin to the dough. I was just trying to soup it up a little more. Okay. Yeah, we've made some really good recipes with this. The feta rolls were amazing. I probably should make those again. They were so good. Joshy made pizza rolls. I made cinnamon rolls. It's super yummy. And it's easy. Like if you're like me and you don't want to make bread and you don't want to make it rise and all that, just get the rose dinner rolls. Like I told you, it was a an accident. All right, that looks beautiful. Okay. Okay, there we go. And then next we are going to brush it with butter. Just drizzle the butter all the way through here. One and a half sticks. If you want to save a little bit for the tops, you can do that. I think I'll do that. Just brush it out to the sides. Save a little bit to Go over the sides. And you want to kind of puddle it so it, you know, you're not brushing off all the, the pumpkin when you do it. Alright, and this is gonna help like our sugars all stick. Okay, that looks good. I need a little bit more on the top, maybe. If you have to melt more butter to get to brush on the top, do that, it's fine. Okay, because we are gonna make a um, a cream cheese topping for it. All right, that looks good. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle it with sh white sugar and brown. Now you don't have to do too much of one because you're doing two different sugars. And I've been doing a lot of my like fall stuff and I've actually been using, instead of like when it calls for like cinnamon and nutmeg and stuff, I've actually been using my pumpkin pie spice because it kind of has everything in it. And I'm really liking that. If you wanna add nuts to this, you can, but my family doesn't like nuts and stuff. Like pecans would be great. Or you could maybe, maybe when you roll them up and you drizzle them with butter, maybe sprinkle them with chopped pecans. That would be great. I can put that in the comment. All right. So it looks like it's about a half a cup of white sugar. Then I had about three quarters cup of a brown sugar. All right, this looks good. Okay. And then you're just gonna sprinkle it with your pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon, whatever you want. But this has cloves, it has nutmeg, allspice. I think I'm gonna grab some ginger out too because I like to add ginger to mine. I like a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick. So just sprinkle it here. And we're gonna be using this again. So, ooh, it smells wonderful. I'm pretty sure this doesn't have ginger. So I'm gonna go grab my ginger out. 
and then finish this and then we're gonna roll it up. It's so easy. Right now, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 375. I looked on the ingredients and it actually has ginger in it. So it's cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and ginger. So I don't have to get any ginger. All right, so now we're just gonna roll it up kinda tight and then we're gonna slice it. So I would go towards you because it's so long that if you roll it up here, you're gonna have to kinda cut it up here. So just a little bit at a time because you're the only one rolling it, it's really big. And then make sure that you get it really tight. If you have to flour your fingers up, do it. And so maybe it, make sure you tuck in the inside when you're rolling. So as you get going on it, it's gonna be easier. So just roll it. There we go. And then when we put it in the pan, we're gonna let it rise a little bit longer. We're not gonna cook it right away, so that's why you can heat up your oven right now. Just kinda try and tuck it in there. And I like to go to the edges, cause you know how sometimes when somebody gets the first piece and there's like nothing in it, so I like to do the edges all the way. If it comes out the center or the ends, that's okay. All right. Just do it a little bit at a time too, because if it is sticking to the counter, you're not gonna want it to, to rip. All right, there we go. All right, now it's time to cut it into sections and put it into our casserole dish. And I would just do them like, like maybe this. I have two casserole dishes because I'm not sure if mine's gonna make it. And they are gonna rise, and then they're gonna rise when they cook too. So my first two might've been a little too thick. And the inside's gonna be a little harder to do because it's gonna have most of your filling. They look great though, smells great. I'm gonna have to do two pans with mine. You probably are going to have to also, or just get maybe a small one. Because when they rise, you kind of want them to rise into each other. I'm actually gonna pull that one out and do this here. There we go. All right, so we got those. I think I might actually be able to get another one in here. There we go, that'll work, okay. So I'm just gonna let these set probably for 15 minutes. I'm gonna do the other one. And then before I put them in the oven, I'll let you guys kind of see what it does. So I'm gonna cover it and I'm going to um, let it set. So I'm thinking like 10, 15 minutes. I let them sit for about 15, 20 minutes. I've got my oven preheated to 375. Now I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes, making sure I watch them. And when they come out, I'm gonna let them cool and we're gonna make the icing for the top. My cinnamon rolls are done. They look absolutely great. Sorry, it's a little loud. My stove is trying to cool itself down. So we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting to go onto the tops of these. And so what I have here is two blocks of cream cheese, four and a half cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of vanilla, and then I also have a half a cup of pumpkin spice creamer. So we're gonna add that all into the bowl, mix it up. You can adjust too, so if you find it's, maybe it's not um, soft enough, you can add a little bit more liquid. If you find that it's just too runny, you can add a little bit more powdered sugar, so you can actually alter it, but we're gonna combine everything into the bowl and then put it over, over these um, cinnamon rolls. I did let them set for about probably 15 minutes. They're still warm, so the, um, the cream cheese is not gonna completely melt, because you don't want it to completely melt into the cinnamon rolls, you want there to be an icing on it. So now it's the two blocks of cream cheese. And then two tablespoons of vanilla. And then my um, half a cup of pumpkin spice creamer. Okay. I'm just gonna combine this with my cordless mixer. I have to tell you, this is, you can actually beat your cream cheese first if you want, but I'm just gonna get it all in there. 
Um, this is one of my favorite presents of, oh, I got cream cheese on, of all time. Like I absolutely love this handheld mixer. I didn't realize I needed it in my life until I got it for Christmas from Noah. He's so thoughtful, like he really, my Noah, he really pays attention to what people need or like. He's just like the best Christmas giver or present giver. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this all up and then we're gonna um, spread it onto our cinnamon rolls. Wow, that looks great. You don't want it completely stiff like an icing because you're not decorating cupcakes. You want it to be spreadable. This looks perfect. Make sure I got all of it in here. Yeah, that looks great. I don't want to waste any of it. Now okay. it's time to ice these wonderful cinnamon rolls. They smell so good, oh my goodness. I want you guys to get a close up of this, super great. Okay, the icing is perfect, absolutely perfect. Hopefully I had enough. Okay, you're just gonna spread them on, cover them. If you wanna do one at a time, go ahead. And they're still warm. So the icing's not gonna melt, but it will kind of, you know, be soft, but it won't like melt into the rolls. And I just hate that because I want icing on my rolls, my cinnamon rolls. Okay, that looks good. I wanna make sure that I have enough for both pans. And then if I have extras, I will come back and ice them. Looks great. And this one, it, it actually raised a little more than the other one. I think I cut them a little thicker, but that's okay. Got these little fruit flies that are just kind of everywhere. Whenever it gets nice outside, it's like craziness. All right, that looks good. A little bit over, you got some in the dents here. Let's get this one covered. Let's get this end here. All right, now let's work on this other one here. Yeah, this is actually perfect. This is actually perfect. My family's gonna love it. The next thing I'm gonna be doing is little like apple pasties. You just put apples in them. You make your apples, cut them up. Super easy. We're gonna be making that probably next week. Or maybe even maybe tomorrow. I kind of feel like I'm in a baking mood. And you put, you get some pie crust and you put cream cheese and your apple pie filling, then you seal them over, like a, almost like a, some people call them calzones, but we call them pasties, um, almost like a calzone. And then you just bake them, you put a little butter on them and bake them, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow. All right, that's a big, nice one. Ooh, that's great. All right, that looks, that looks like the beautiful, most beautiful one ever. Right. And it's super simple, you know, it's so easy. You just get the rolls out. Put, if you don't wanna put the pumpkin in it, it was kind of messy, don't do that. Just put the pumpkin in the middle and then you put all your toppings on and your gold. Okay, that looks great. All right, now I got a little bit of extra for the other side. There we go. That looks wonderful. Sounds like my kids are home from school. That means we're gonna go to the front porch and start cleaning things up, getting ready because it's gonna be getting cold soon. Yeah, that's my dogs. That means people are here. We got a million little puppies all over. Okay, this is done. Let's pull one out and see what it looks like. Okay, here it is. I tried it. It's absolutely amazing. Stayed together. You can really taste the pumpkin, it's super yummy. So here is a super easy pumpkin roll recipe. So thank you for joining me on this, let's just say fall baking 101, where we made, well, where I made a super easy pumpkin roll, pumpkin rolls, pumpkin cinnamon rolls. It's so good, you guys, you're gonna love it. So if you do try this, hey, comment below and tell me what your family thought. And you know, you could do anything. You could add, you could do blueberries, apple pie filling, peach filling. You could actually do whatever you want. I mean, anything would go in this, I think. 
Yeah, super yummy. My family's gonna love it. And oh my goodness, I just love pumpkin everything. Like love pumpkin everything. Well, thank you again. Don't forget to follow Just the Bells 10, subscribe and like. All right, thank you so much. Have a wonderful fall, y'all. I'm gonna say that in everyone. Everything that's fall, happy fall, y'all.